ready for him to go that far out. And it's like, oh, you're not going to come? Dang it. Yeah. I overextended. That's that's the that's the Wario Drift, right? Mm -hmm. You get to play uh, you get to play a real footsie game in the air. And most characters are a lot more committal than that. But speaking of uh, playing footsie games in the air, we actually have YB coming up. Have you have you gotten to see some of this Dark Samus? I hope everyone watching has gotten to see a little bit, at least, of his clips on Twitter, because this guy just swims in the air with Dark Samus. Mm -hmm. He's a Wi-Fi legend out of Japan, has been really showing off his stuff this entire time, just making it here by beating Void 3-0 in his previous set, which is incredible, because, like, Void's blank feature and is one of the fastest players we know. If Void can't keep you locked down, you know, what on earth can stop you? But, I mean, maybe it's going to be Leo. <laughs> you never know. I mean, Leo Le Leo's a different beast of his own. Yeah. <laughs> so you just got to wait and see. I mean, Leo has been rocking the Wolf primarily. You never know if we're going to see yet another character. But I think Wolf is the pick to go with this time around, having access to that reflector, having the laser as well. Samus, or Dark Samus, excuse me. Yeah. I mean, essentially the same thing. Just one's darker um, and edgier. <laughs> well, 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 one's <laughs> floatier, right? Yeah. Oh, that's, exactly. That's what YB capitalizes <laughs> on, right? He's, he's able to use the Dark Samus's floatiness and her like slightly better bomb drift in order to make a lot better movement, a lot better mix-up. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, Leo also does have access to a lot of sword characters as well. He's got Ike and Lucien, and also uh, Marth kind of ready, waiting in the wings in case uh, Wolf has too hard of a time swatting at this Dark Samus. No, but I think with the reflector and with the laser that Wolf has access to, really, like, I, I don't see another switch coming in, especially the way that YB has been playing this whole weekend. Nope, laser already online. 10% leading into that neutral air as well. And YB already kind of on the run, but challenging him in the air with that out of, uh, uh, out of shield up B as well. Yeah. And that's kind of one of the reasons why it can be so frustrating to keep him locked down, is if you happen to just like tap his shield instead, he just gets to burst you for free, and now you're back on the other side of the stage, and you have to catch him again. MK Leo is doing such a good job, and I think a part of that is, again, not only the blaster that he has access to, but the threat of the reflector is kind of keeping YB from throwing the charge shot at a reactable distance. He wants to threaten with that in order to keep Leo predictable. He has to keep that mid-range, but even then, Leo can read it and get himself a solid amount of damage for it. Yep, and Leo just holding up the reflector right there, not afraid of the morph bomb that came out. And even then, uh, YB just didn't recognize it and also tossed out that charge shot that, you know, ate a lot of presentiment. Mm -hmm. Trying to set up the bomb one more time as well. Not quite going to get it, but the up smash is going to get that stock. Yeah, scooping up all around Wolf, a really great option here. It's It was kind of underrated as an out of shield move when the game first came out, but like as time goes on, we're realizing it's actually fantastic. It's cross up proof. It's so strong on top of that for how much space it covers. Really so much stuff. pressure right there at the ledge from YB. I love the placements of those down special bombs out of the morph ball because he's putting it to where Leo is on the ledge where he's forcing the get up and after that he's just waiting to see if he's going to shield, jump, do anything else and he has a charge shot online a couple times he's already got the grab instead. Yeah and then that bomb is going to go off the moment your intangibility frames end with whatever get up you choose. Yeah, but it's like that catches the jump right the bomb just is automatically detonating at the right timing. Wow, the upper still not going to do it. The down smash gonna catch Leo trying to wall jump up to that ledge. Oh wow, Leo actually reading in that fade in. Not gonna be able to find a pivot. Oh grab. my goodness, point blank charge shot leading to that nair. And we have Leo sitting at 60% already. That's how you deal with the reflector. You just instead use your charge shot at really weird times. The opponent has to respect it, and sometimes you force them to reflect her in times that, like, you know, they can normally press in for an attack instead, and you get away for free. All right, there goes the back throw. Ooh, okay, I'm not sure what YB was looking for there, because he ended up doing that missile in the opposite direction of Leo. I'm assuming it was supposed to be another Morph Ball trying to B-reverse it, but, hey, nonetheless, he didn't lose his stock. Still trying to put up this pressure. Leo only getting that forwarder, trying to lead into the back air as well. Yeah, we have 150%, so a lot of options from Wolf, like that back air you pointed out, are going to do the trick dash attack as well. So good at calling out a lot of air options because that foot extends forward so much. Right, back air, quick 18, YB able to get that grab. Down throw into the forward air. Yeah, I think he caught in uh, some DI in with that forward air. Paid off quite a bit, and now he's got himself even stocks once again. But just like that very first stock, Leo finds that first opening, tries to end YB's life with that down air, but he doesn't find it. 
fairly off the mark. And here we have Leo here at the ledge one more time, getting another dash attack, two dash attacks. YB now sitting at 97%. Ooh, with a get up attack. A fantastic challenge on his part. But he's still in disadvantage and not out of the woods yet. I love oh. the awareness right there from Leo. He expected some type of hitbox there after he landed the immediate roll away. Leo's not quite going to find the kill there, but we have, once again, YB at that death percent, and he has so much more work he needs to do against Leo if he ever finds it back to that center stage. Perfect get up timing to get past that neutral air, but a Another dash tag coming in. Leo, you know, he is just going for those whip punishes quite a bit because he understands, like, you know what? I'm just going to take full advantage of my dash tag. If I try to go in with that tilt or if I go with anything else, it's going to be a little bit too slow to try to catch YB. Yeah, he's catching on to the way that YB likes conditioning people from that mid range, right? Because we see the Zeres come out a lot. We see missiles. We see charge shots of any size, right? He's fine shooting out little pellets if it comes down to that. He just wants to get you used to shielding at that distance. But Leo kind of caught on at the very end. He was at that distance, which is also the grab range for Samus, just ran out, forced that grab whiff, and just ran back in with a dash like the moment he saw it. Right, here we go into game two. Town in City, a very good pick coming out from YB. Just wants these big blast zones. Uh, doesn't want to die too early to any of these big hits that Wolf has access to. Ooh, that is so tricky right there. I, I, Leo is not ready for any of that. I didn't know there was a wall to jump off of. <laughs> oh, no, no there, there's not. That that was just based off the um, the charge shot cancel. Oh, Because wow. you can jump out of it. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. And then, and then you can be reverse a charge exactly. shot again. Mm -hmm. And you can just really zigzag. Right, place the couple of bombs one more time. Ooh, looking for Leo to jump out a little bit earlier, but the charge shot not going to find its more. We have YB at a very nice lead. Get in the sour spot of that back air as well. A B? No. Leo's Nair actually able to get in there before he was in danger. Yeah, I like that uh, Leo kept leaning on Nair in that chase, right? As opposed to going for, say, a back air or a forward air, because he just wanted to cover as much space as possible with a long lasting hitbox to catch YB jumping when the pressure is on. YB disengaging to the other side. And it is YB with the lead right now. Gonna be able to find his way. Oh, right into the up smash, though. Yeah, but able to hold on to that solid counter pick, actually help him out just a little bit here. Putting on a lot of pressure with that charge shot, and even then, because of it, such tricky movement at the tail end of it, Leo unable to go ahead and catch him. That forward should do the trick, yep. And we have the platforms coming in on Talon City, too. I think this is something that can help YB quite a bit as well. You were talking about those charge, that charge shot movement, Miho, and this is exactly the sort of height you can really kite people around like with it. Goodness, Lil, barely able to get that shield up. Still struggling to get this stock, and as I say it, Dash Attack is going to take it. And here we have it, two stocks apiece, even percents, G-Pick. Mm -hmm. be kind of taking his time, coming down from that platform. Trying to utilize more of the Zare as well. And there's a poke out, it's Leo from a distance, but Leo. So 30 to 68. Because ordinarily, charge shot in the middle of a string, right? It's almost like a wake up Shoryu. It's like, here I go, throwing out a strong attack, and you weren't respecting me. He parried. Yeah, Leo was ready. <laughs> Leo absolutely was ready. Up throw one more time, trying to lead into that border. Not quite going to get it. Down air having so much start up, the neutral air just going to beat it out. And YB's not ready to go ahead and try to get that tech. Yeah, that back air on the Town and City platform by Wolf and other characters is so hard to deal with because it not only lets them kill you if you tech rolled in, they're not exposing themselves at all. They still hold on to the stage of the whiff. YB still stuck here at the ledge. Leo so patient, and he was just sitting in the correct spot. Literally where YB was landing. Mm -hmm. What a scoop! Goodness, I'm trying to threaten with those up airs as well. Not quite going to get it, but Leo still just won wow! Oh my God! What the? <laughs> I'm learning something YB, every day. YB, excuse me, the forward smash taking that stock away. That was such a good adjustment by YB because he's been watching every time I drop a bomb on this ledge. Leo does neutral get up, puts up his shield, and just waits. Right? And because he could count on that, he dropped the bomb and just let it rip. Yeah, but, but what a trade there at the very end. YB came with that up tote. It made contact, but Leo had a back air there. It's yeah. going to take that stock away. Leo now having a 2-0 lead. Yeah. We've seen YB pull off some amazing things before, but ordinarily, in the sets he runs away with, like he just starts with like full gas and he just keeps it rolling, right? I haven't seen him pull off like a reverse 3-0 yet at this event. 
So I don't know if he's going to be able to pull it off against one of the top two players in the world. And we just got to wait and see. I mean, he, it's it's there for him. One, we're going go. down sort of to the wire. Just Leo able to just you know, clutch it out, get the really key hits that matter the most, and go from there. Yo, you saw that, right? Mm -hmm. Leo tossed up his reflector. He stopped for a <laughs> moment. YB with the charge. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you want it? I know you want to do it. Look at the shiny light. <laughs> It's, it's he just did it again! It's, it's like a mod to like a lantern, right? Oh, okay. no. Okay, okay. Leo's okay. getting a little carried away now. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good trap right there. Yeah. Leading into that back air, YB stuck here at the ledge one more time. Neutraler connecting, dash attack not quite going to be there, but Leo going for the second one as well. And yeah, you see Leo's often just to have that safety of the reflector as opposed to pushing any of these streaks just in case of that charge shot. I think he also shows his confidence that even if I drop this, this attack string, I can probably keep him at ledge really well, too. All right, 25 trying to extend it with an up tilt as well. Not quite going to get it, but you have YB stuck here on the platform. Able oh, my goodness. <laughs> Leo is always ready. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter. Your charge shot isn't an option here. Back throw? Yeah. Beautiful catch. YB going in and landing the heel of his foot. Backing away to the corner and actually staying down here as well. Not trying to rush it, just like we saw Tweak do against uh, Mystery as well. Yeah, he's trying to get that pivot grab. Unfortunately, the grab of Simon's a little bit too slow. Go ahead and try to get it. Ooh, solid spot, Dodge Leo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's actually a very dangerous spot. And tech and tech roll in is actually the only thing that is going to save you there. Because tech in place, you get hit by charge shot. Tech tech out, you're getting hit by that charge shot. You don't tech, of course you're getting hit by the charge shot. Yeah. Charge shot as a as an option coverage, it also does so much pressure on the ledge as well when you're playing Dark Samus because she fires at a lower height. It can catch a lot of characters hanging off the ledge. But in the midst of that, YB end up losing yet another stock from that dash like of MK Leo and Leo now putting on all the pressure, so much percent from you know all of those up there. My goodness, the down smash only getting the inside hitbox, not the outside on the claws as we're used to seeing. Yeah, Leo's looking to really run away with this at this point at 55 percent, but finally a charge shot. He's not ready to reflect. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, the assist. <laughs> down in City coming through with the platform. Serving YB on a platter to Leo. Leo <laughs> gladly eats that up and oh. wins 3-0. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. <laughs>